I'm Luke with Rhino Carbon Fiber. I'm going to show you why our strap is different than any of the other wall support systems on the market today. We have three different areas of our strap. We have the top connection, the middle of the strap, and the bottom pin. When you look at the top of it, we actually connect to the foundation above. We, we connect all the framing to the foundation here with a bracket that not only adheres to the silk plate, but also bolts into the silk plate at the same time. It is the strongest strap on the market today. It takes over 50,000 pounds of pressure to break this, this strap. And at that point, the last thing you need to worry about is your concrete block wall in the basement. It means that there's a hurricane or something like that outside. And the bottom of the strap, where we have the pin that's fit behind this waterproofing system, it actually pins into the footer. These straps were put on this wall after it was rebuilt from a competitor's carbon fiber system failing. It actually, we have an engineering report that will show you that actually says that the carbon fiber strap that was put on here before caused the failure. So we are here at a Fortress carbon fiber job where the Fortress carbon fiber gave out. This is why you want to make sure you have your attachments at the top of the block and at the bottom of the block. Of course, Todd with Fortress just left here and said that it was a shear and they don't cover shears. The wall would have never sheared had their product had attachment at the bottom and top. So their product literally created the shear. They took the pressure from the middle of the wall at the top and bottom and they just simply say it's not covered. Let's talk about why a competitor's carbon fiber product is not nearly the same as a Rhino carbon fiber product. Here we have a Fortress carbon fiber product that is just nothing but underdesigned. And when they designed it, what they were designing it for was just the bow in the middle of the wall. So when they designed for the bow in the middle of the wall, what they thought was, well, let's stop it from moving here. And they took it to the top and they took it to the bottom of the, bit, the wall. They never connected to the top and they never connected to the bottom. All it did was take both those pressures that was here and distribute them from top to bottom. So they had no problems until about five, six, seven years down the road. And then what they noticed where the walls were coming in, but they were coming in all in one piece. They were breaking at the bottom and they were coming in underneath the silk plate. So they changed their warranties to say they don't cover shear, which is what they call where it comes off the bottom. But the bottom block stays in place, but the second block literally slides in over top of it. They just simply changed their warranties saying they don't cover it. Although when this product was installed, they did cover it, or at least it wasn't excluded from the warranty. So they've recently re rewritten their warranties to take it out. They've also came up with an attachment for the, for the top, which doesn't really work that great. Um, they haven't came up with anything for the bottom simply because the Rhino carbon fiber has a pattern on it and there's nothing they can do about it. So by far, the Rhino carbon fiber is a superior strap. Still today, Rhino carbon fibers never had a failure and it's the only one with a pattern that can attach to the bottom.